Hello friends, this video on microbes in human welfare part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us talk about the chemicals. Now I said that there are several types of chemicals which are also produced by microbes and these chemicals are again helpful to us in some or the other way. Now some of the important chemicals which are produced by microbes are organic acids, enzymes, alcohol. So these are some of the important chemicals which are produced by microbes. Now alcohols we have almost covered because we saw how alcohol is produced from microbes. Yeast produces ethanol. So that is one thing. And this alcohol is again used in many other chemical reactions where alcohol turns out to be helpful. It also produces a lot of enzymes and we all know that enzymes are extremely important because they help many chemical reactions to take place. For example, if you look at the process of ethanol fermentation, we see that there is an enzyme called zymase which is involved in the process. Now had zymase, been, had zymase not been present, the process would have not taken place. So this plays a, so enzymes play a very important role in all the chemical reactions and the enzymes are produced from microbes. Organic acids because these acids also help us in a lot of ways. For example, the best example which we can take as of now is the lactic acid. You saw that how the lactic acid bacteria they help in producing lactic acid and this lactic acid in turn helps in so many different processes like curdling of milk. So that means there are many different chemical substances which are produced by microbes and those chemical substances are useful to us in many different ways. So let us start with organic acids. So let us see what which micro, which are the microbes which produce different organic acids. So we will take few examples of microbes which help in producing organic acids. The first example which we'll mention is lactobacillus because we actually saw what happens here. So lactobacillus bacteria, they convert lactose into lactic acid and that is how they help in the production of lactic acid. There is another bacteria that is acetobacter ACT. So this is another bacteria which helps in producing acetic acid. So again, acid, what is acetic acid? That is CH3COOH. So it produces acetic acid. So with the, from the name only you can remember acetobacter. So it has the same beginning aceto. So it produces acetic acid. There is another bacteria that is Clostridium botanicum and it produces botanic acid. So you see many different types of acids are being produced from different types of microbes. Aspergillus niger. So aspergillus produces citric acid and citric acid again is useful. So citric acid again is the same acid which is also present in your lemons. So all these different acids are actually produced by different microbes and these acids find their application in many different uh, places. So now if you talk about microbes which produce enzymes, now what we will look at some of the enzymes which come from microbes. For example, streptokinase is an enzyme which is produced by a bacteria that is streptococcus bacteria. Streptococcus bacteria produces streptokinase enzyme and what is the benefit of streptokinase enzyme? This enzyme helps in effective thrombolysis medication. So, and what is thrombolysis? So, thrombolysis is nothing but dissolution of blood clot. So, when blood clot formation takes place, a severe blood clot, so in order to dissolve or dissolute the blood clot, thrombolysis is needed. So, in, so in that kind of medication, streptokinase is extremely useful. Next enzyme that is produced is lipase and lipase is produced from some of the lactic acid bacteria. So lactic acid bacteria, they help in producing lipase and what do the lipase do? They help in hydrolysis of fat on lipids. That means they help to break down lipids to release energy. So lipase, without lipase, the lipids inside your body will just remain like that. So lipase is extremely important for us. 
Protease, again protease helps in breaking down proteins, so it helps in protein catabolism. It breaks down complex proteins into simpler peptides, because what are proteins? They are made up of amino acids. The amino acids, they join together by peptide bonds to form smaller units of peptides and many such smaller peptides join together to form polypeptides or proteins. Now when you want to break down proteins, during metabolism. So what you need to do? The protein again needs to be broken down into simpler peptides and those simpler peptides can then further be broken down into amino acids and then it can be absorbed. So during the process of digestion and absorption, lipids and proteins, they all need to be broken down into their simplest forms and these enzymes help in that process. Whether it is lipase or protease, they all help in that process. So this protease enzyme again is uh, produced by many different types of many bacteria produces it. There are many yeast which helps in producing protease, mold. So many such bacteria yeast or mold helps in producing protease. Another enzyme is pectinase. What is pectinase? It breaks down pectin which is found in the plant cell wall. So as I said, you always need enzymes to for hydrolysis of different uh, substances present inside the body because so, so these kind of enzymes, they extremely help the chemical reactions to take place. Without them, reactions cannot take place. These are some of the examples which tell you that how during the process of digestion they are important. Like at least for lipase and protease, you can clearly see how they help in the process of digestion. For streptokinase, you can see that it has got a medicinal advantage. It helps in producing medicines which can uh, which can help in thrombolysis. For pectinase, it can break down the plant cell wall. So if the plant cells need to be broken down and uh, like for hydrolysis of that, the pectin which is present in specifically in the plant cell wall that also needs to be broken. So for that you have a special enzyme called pectinase and this pectinase is also produced by many bacteria and fungi. So this is how uh, there are many enzymes which are produced by microbes and these enzymes in turn are helpful to us. So we can say that these microbes are also helpful to us because they are helping in producing something which is going to help us. Now the last thing is alcohol. Now as I mentioned before also that alcohol we already saw that how the yeast saccharomyces cerevisiae helps in ethanol fermentation and during the process it produces ethanol which is an alcohol. So this is the saccharomyces cerevisiae and this is ethanol. So as I had mentioned before that this process of formation of ethanol takes place in absence of oxygen. So what happens is the sugars, whether it is glucose, fructose or uh, lactose, maltose, so whatever form of sugar it may be that is broken down, directly that cannot be broken down, please note that. So this is glucose, now if it is sucrose, sucrose being a disaccharide first it needs to be broken down in, into the corresponding monosaccharide and then the monosaccharide can be fermented in absence of oxygen to form ethanol C2H5OH and carbon dioxide and a lot of energy. So this is how alcohol formation can take place. So this is the structure of ethanol here. And this entire process takes place in the by the yeast because only when the yeast grows it needs energy. So from where does it get energy? From the sugar. So this process takes place. So yeast helps this reaction to take place because yeast needs energy for survival. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four-step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.